Moving on now, though, to our top story. And the UK has sent border force officials to Egypt's Rafah crossing to help evacuate Brits still trapped in Gaza. Around 200 citizens have contacted the Foreign Office asking for help to leave the besieged region uh, since October the 7th and the Hamas massacre in Israel. Rishi Sunak has been calling for a pause in fighting in order to bring them out and bring them home. But more than 80 MPs have now urged the government to go further and demand a ceasefire, with London's Mayor Sadiq Khan, the latest politician, to join those calls, a decision that Rishi Sunak says would only benefit Hamas. Israel has a right to defend itself, to target those responsible for the appalling terror attack of the 7th of October and to take action to free the hostages. But a widespread military escalation will only deepen the humanitarian disaster. It will increase human suffering on all sides. No nation, including Israel, has the right to break international law. Well, some of us might think that Sadiq Khan should spend more time worrying about the city of which he is actually in charge of, uh, where we have uh, seen oh, an awful lot of uh, uh, young people and many others having to live with uh, the, the peril of knives and guns on our street. Maybe he should worry more about them than what's going on the other side of the world. But there we are. Uh, joining me throughout today's show is commentator Sam Armstrong. Um, just a quick thought on that, actually, before we go to our first guest down the line, Sam. Um, because I mean, there's so many politicians that get their tuppence worth in on every topic. Now, OK, I do that too. That's my job. And, and, and as my friends and family can testify, I'm like this off air, probably even worse. Um, but every time I see a politician, particularly those on the left, sort of getting onto their soapbox, like Sadiq Khan does, on every international issue, oh, it doesn't matter whether it's Trump or whatever it is, he's on that soapbox um, and he's making some international point. You think, you've got a city to run, mate. Why don't you just get on with doing the job you've got? And when you've sorted that out, then maybe have an opinion on other things. I'll tell you why for free, because virtue signalling is an awful lot easier than governing. Yeah. It's far easier for him to say Israel should do X or Y than it is for him to actually put police onto the streets, for him to actually come up with strategies to deal with many of the problems, for him to stop conducting active warfare, in my view, against the motorists of London that are trying to go out there and earn a living, it's far easier for him to say, oh, this is an outrage, this is a disgrace. Yeah. And by the way, The Guardian, the BBC, all the rest of them, they'll all be crowing, how wonderful, how great, yeah. what a true statesman. Give me a break. Absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more.